Everybody. Welcome to Let's Talk Art. And it's so nice to have you all here today. I have a special hello to um, Billy, Lou, and Ron, the ZBTers who are watching me today for the first time, I think. And, um, and we'll know why a little while, while, while they're why they're tuning in. But um, thanks for being here, guys. Um, so summer is upon us. And um, we all got a chance to be with family again this past weekend, which I thought was really, really nice. I got to see all my, well, half of my grandchildren, which was terrific. The other ones were, went on a little vacation, which was also great for them. And, um, and today is a little full day. We have my very special friend, my very special floral designer from OMG Flower Boutique. And he is doing an amazing, uh, well, I will say amazing because all of them are. Um, arrangement to go with my guest, Jill Snydman's artwork today. Um, so we will get to her in a few minutes. Um, I brought this painting today. Could you guys put this camera on for me? Camera two, thank you. Okay, so I, I brought this in and I had um, put it up on uh, Facebook for a couple of days and I wanted people to react to it and sort of tell me what they thought was in this painting. And I will tell you um, that uh, we got a double, double painting. Okay. Oh, it's also behind me is my mosaic flower arrangement, which is a good one for having a flower arranger in the house today. But um, I got a whole bunch of things and I'm going, of, of messages, and I'm going to read a couple of them. And so just focus on the painting as I'm, I'm, I'm saying what some of these people said. So one, one person said that she saw a duck, a frog, and a chicken, and also a skull. Okay, so, you know, think about that. Another one said they saw a submarine. And then there's a long-haired, robbed man on a cloud blowing his trumpet upon a destroyed city. Okay, <laughs> they're getting a little bit more interesting. Um, and then there's a, a Parthian girl with a gun. Okay. Um, and then we have, um, uh, here was a couple more. I see ships at war and airplanes dropping bombs. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And for some reason, uh, this one figure, she says, for some reason I see a figure in the center in the back, a head without a body, floating on a blue sea, though I guess below seems to be darker, the darker past, but not completely dark, above a brighter path, but not all bright. And if I were to sum it up in one word, I'm pretty sure it would be conundrum. <laughs> okay. And then I see another, another person saw another submarine, wilderness in the sky. And then somebody wanted to know if I was going through a period of artist block. <laughs> so I don't, where that goes, I don't know. <laughs> and then, um, then there was one of psychologists a psychol wait we're, we're okay a, a psychology test there we go i see a small boat on the lower left corner i think i see a boat on a trailer off a truck speeding away after crashing into the mall rail on the side of a road i see pink flowers and a butterfly yikes i was listing hidden things not that obvious and somebody saw a cruise ship okay um so 
I think, oh, then there's uh, one more. I see, I see mountains, water, sand, flowers. Oh, and okay, Stephen, Stephen Gov. <laughs> hey, Steve. He said, the longer you look at this, the more you see, and there's so much to see. And there's duck waves. Okay, and then there was other pages, but that's enough of that. So what I'm going to tell you, I was looking for my pointer. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, now I'm a pointing person. Um, <clears throat> first of all, this painting is, is from a drop cloth that was on the bottom of where I paint. And for months, drops would come down. And all of a sudden, I looked at it one day and I said, OMG, which is my favorite word, there is, I, I see, okay, I'm talking in my microphone now. <laughs> No, I see, I see a boat that was sort of blown up over there. I see a woman jumping in the water up in here. Um, there's birds. There's uh, all the colors from the bombs that came off. There's another boat in the middle. Um, and, and there's Eskimos at the top. Okay, so it's a whirlwind of items in this drop cloth. And I, somebody said to me, this doesn't look like your work, Amy. And I said, well... Actually, it is, because it's a lot of droppings and drippings of my work. <laughs> so there you have it. And I thought that would be kind of fun to show you today, because art is to the beholder. OK, so everyone has seen something different in here. Um, I would say that most of most of the people that have um, addressed this have seen um, we got a telephone call coming, um, have seen uh, darkness. OK, they've seen maybe war. Um, so then again, maybe if I turned it around and upside down, you would see something completely different. And that's what art is all about. And that's what my art's all about, because you just never know what you're going to get. So that's, that's my story today. And, and I really wanted to um, you know, just give you a little piece of me and, and what art can be. So I am going to take a commercial right now, because I want to bring my guest on, which I can't wait. Um, Jill Snyman is an amazing landscape photographer and she'll be right back with us and um and i look forward to um the rest of the show with andreas creating a masterpiece and we'll show you that too okay be right back <laughs> OMG Flower Boutique is a family-owned and operated business. We specialize in custom arrangements for any and all occasions, big or small events, including weddings, birthdays, dinner parties, bar mitzvahs, etc., while offering the best prices and highest quality of flowers to our customers. We offer online ordering, pickup, and delivery. For more information, go to our website, omgflowerboutique.com, or call us at 561-806-5818. Roshevsky can help you choose the right piece that will add some magic to your space. Amy Roshevsky can help you choose the right piece that will add some magic to your space. Amy Roshevsky has a wide range of art, from abstracts to mosaic tapestries, and she paints on different surfaces, such as reverse painting on glass, tables, wall hangings, and sculptures. 
Her work can be ordered online at amyrashevsky.com or you can come in and see it in real time at the Brooklyn Cafe Art Gallery. She also does commission work, so if you have an idea in mind, she can make it a reality. She invites you to reach out to her at Facebook or at email at amyrashevsky at gmail.com. That's amyrashevsky at gmail.com. Have an artful day. Hi, welcome back. And I'd like you to meet Jill. And uh, Jill and I um, sort of know each other over the years. And it was sort of um, interesting. We met at an art show a few years back again. And uh, we found out that Jill knows a few of my husband's pals. And they were all um, in school together, correct? That's correct. And so there's a, always, I love when there's a link. There's mm -hmm. always something and it's always full circle that you come around and you see each other. And so I wanted you to be on my show and I'm really happy to have you. I'm honored, honored to be here today. Yeah, thank you very yeah, much. That's great. Um, so I wanted to, um, before we get into uh, you and I, I wanted to just take a peek if we could get back to, oh, there he is, Andreas. Um, Hey, Andre. Hey. <laughs> so, hello, hello. So, so you're working on a piece to uh, represent a landscape, and the crystal mill is your is your photograph yes. that's back there. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it for a second, and then we'll go back into some other things? Sure. Uh, it was taken in Crystal, Colorado, which is about an hour and a half outside of Aspen, and it is an old abandoned mill, non-working mill, um, and. It was taken in probably uh, early afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, sun was shining, Perfect. obviously. Yeah. Beautiful blue sky. Uh, the colors were just popping out. And it's a private area. And I am a photographer that likes to go beyond the private area. So where there's ropes, I usually go, go over and them. jump <laughs> over them. So I was with my daughter, and she, you know, was saying, Mom, I don't think you should go there. But I, like, jumped over the rope and went down a little bit of the hill. And, and then you saw I, that. I got the shot. Wow. And so yeah. that's what I came with. So, so I guess the people decided if they wanted to go into the, where the waterfall and the water is, they had to climb down that mm -hmm. rickety, rickety, mm -hmm. and hope that nothing pops off as you go down. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a wonderful piece to bring in because I, I am sure our artistic uh, Andreas back there will do it justice. Great. Okay, so um, you can put us back together. <laughs> so, Jill, um, I know you've been a um, uh, photo photographer for over 40 years now, correct? Is that right? Well, uh, I've done photography all my life. All um, your life, okay. I started when I was a kid, and my parents got me a brownie camera. Brownie. And I used that till it broke. Um, and then I graduated, obviously, to uh, bigger and better things and um, went to school. A I took a couple of courses in Manhattan at the New School mm -hmm. after college. And then in about 1977, I moved to San Francisco. Okay. And then I bought a real camera, a Nikon, and that's where my photography passion really took off. So did you um, start with all different types of photography or just jump into the, your heart was in landscape? Uh, landscape yeah. was always my thing. Uh -huh. uh, I, like, I like nature. I like to see a shot and feel like I want somebody to jump into the picture, that it's very real looking. And that's what I strive for. And um, I noticed when you brought in your uh, piece today, it's, it's on an aluminum mm -hmm. um, frame, uh, which is very nice with that. I mean, it just makes it like the perfect thing, piece to have. And I know that you do sell your, your uh, photographs very yes, often. Yes. And where can people find you? Uh, JillSnydemanPhotography.com. I have a full website with all of my photographs on there, full prices and you can purchase right on the website. Okay, there, we have your stuff up right there. So you guys can take note and take a look at some of her work, but we're gonna show you a couple of great pieces that she has. So let's go for the first one. Okay. This is um, called Central Park. Okay, my favorite. Um, Manhattan. Um, I was there a couple of years ago and actually I was looking to get fall colors, but it was too early. not happening. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so I took a walk through Central Park and I was looking to shoot tunnels. I really love tunnels and that whole feeling of looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. But right. then I was walking in the park okay. and I was on my way out and I came across this scene and it just grabbed me. It did. And, and, it, and it sort of has the distance in the back so it gives you that the lighting that you need it mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, let's try another one, guys. Uh, so we know this is out west. <laughs> this is out west, Utah, Bryce Canyon, uh, Bryce National Park, um, out there several years ago. And this was just uh, one of those hikes that I love to take. Uh, I love to hike, and I love to point and shoot, and that's my thing. And I like to go off the beaten path. Um, that's to find also something my really thing. different. And yeah. yes, find the different looking <laughs> shot. Mm -hmm. And that was this. Um, this is called Going the Distance. Oh, I like the title. Very nice. Yeah, very cool. Okay, let's do another one, guys. Okay. okay. Uh, wow. This, is, uh, this was taken in Iceland. And, oh, you um, got to I Iceland. What did yes. you think of Iceland? Oh, I loved it. I, I think Iceland, one of my favorite places because there's so much different terrain in such a small place. And we rented a car. And we just drove all over the place for about 10 days. And this was an incredible waterfall. I mean, you just drive Look at the veins. and you see waterfalls all over the place. Uh, this is called, um, and I, I'm not good at pronouncing a lot of the Icelandic names, mm -hmm. but I call it Horanafosser. <laughs> Horanafosser. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, but I have sold this. I sold it recently. Oh, nice. Um, and it, it is a, a favorite because of the colors. They just, um, and the, the lines in the water, uh, they, they look like different art forms, I yeah, feel. They, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, it look a little religious on one side, maybe a tree right. of life. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My son was uh, up for Memorial Weekend, and, and he and his wife had gone to Iceland, uh, mm. uh, I guess, a year before COVID. So we were talking about it. It was just a coincidence mm -hmm. that, yeah, I love coincidences. <laughs> everything that works together um, so okay oh good thank you this is again Iceland uh -huh. um, and I had uh, seen this spot before I went and I really wanted to capture this photo and again I was traveling with my daughter and we got here and um, parked the car and walked up the hill and got this shot I mean it was just a phenomenal evening mm -hmm. and we timed it at the right time so at seven o'clock at night or you, something be, like well that? right before sunset right, right okay but if we had done it the next night we would have get, gotten blown away because the wind was incredible but this night it was, was calm. Calm, calm before the storm beautiful amazing wow and um, just a very peaceful beautiful so you spot. must have taken quite a few po uh, photographs while you were there well, because yeah. how could I'm, you not I mean, right that's you know that's the photographer's thing you, yeah you know I, I take a lot of different shots of the same thing mm -hmm. and you know you always hope that you get that one, one. shot yeah so and some, and, that's yeah. part of photography so when you um when you sell your your photographs people could have it in any size right correct yep they can have it um, from uh, 12 by 16 all the way up to um 38 by 58 so wow okay yeah is there another one guys oh we got Andre on too good all right well we can handle this because we, we want to watch him do, uh, look at those flowers <laughs> oh well the back looks great you're gonna be able to see the resemblance on the actual photo Okay, so, we're looking forward to that. Beautiful. It's a really tough one, but we're trying. Okay, I know. It's, it's, I gave you a real hard one today. <laughs> so what, is, um, what are we looking at down there? We're looking at the Narrows, the which Narrows. is in Zion National Park in Utah. Uh -huh. And we're out there again on a family trip. And I was with um, my two daughters and my daughter's husband, and we walked up the, the Narrows, and that is quite the hike. Um, in the middle of the water with the water rushing and we had our sticks and our rubber shoes and we're slipping all over and the place. And your camera. And my camera. <laughs> oh yes. Of and course, around your neck and I hope. <laughs> just praying that I didn't fall in the water. Yeah, or slip. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, this was 
at the end of the walk, and then we had to turn around and come back. But uh, I did get this really cool shot. Very nice. OK, so this one. This is um, my beach shot. Yeah. Um, the waves are beautiful. The waves, um, the lighting. Where was that it located? Was sunrise at Hutchinson Island oh. in Florida. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't take a lot of Florida pictures, honestly. I like to travel to other places, but this was a special spot. Sure is. Um, and it was a beautiful beach. It's a surfer's beach, and it's called Chastain Beach is the name of the beach. Um, so they get there. some decent waves over there. Yeah. And the waves mm. splashing up on the rocks is a really cool phenomenon. And, it, you know, if you can capture that, that's really special. Um, and I also actually just sold this piece as well a couple oh, of weeks congratulations. ago. Congratulations. Nice. You. Very yeah. nice. So, uh, yeah, things are moving, aren't they, with, they in are. the art world? Yes, definitely. Um, so I know that you've, you've probably um, got a lot of awards over the time. You've been in a lot of different shows. I know you, I think you, you did a lot of work at Lighthouse Point, at the yes. Lighthouse. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that starting up again? Uh, I still have some photographs there at okay. the Lighthouse Point Yacht Club. Mm -hmm. I did sell a piece over there. Um, I, the Living Room Theater is opening up in a couple of weeks, and we are going to be showing our artwork there. Nice. Um, nice. I have a photograph that was just in South Carolina at an exhibit there on Hilton Head. And I've been, you know, different museums and galleries over the past five or six years mm -hmm. and in different art guilds mm -hmm. and art associations and, you know, just really... Did you slow down a little bit during COVID? Or no, because you're, 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 you, you didn't really um, have to. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the showing slowed down, um, but I was still um, involved in different venues of um, online things. So oh, okay. We, we did a lot of online situations okay. over COVID. All right. And I actually sold more in the last year and a half than I've sold in a long time. Well, is that in, in a way, it sort of figures because you're, um, you're home. People are home. Then they're redoing all their houses. And as we know that there's no supplies anywhere to get anything finished right now. I mean, mm -hmm. I have friends of mine that are like pulling their hair out, trying to get a contractor back to finish a job. Um, so, you know, you look around your house and, oh, my God, we need something on that wall. So it's been sort of like good for the artist as well in that respect. Sure. Yeah. As far as uh, traveling, you know, we're all uh, shut down and um, and we we've done a lot of work um, at home. And now we've, we're all piled up with stuff, so we're hoping to, <laughs> to move it out. <laughs> right. Yeah, yes. so, so oh we, oh, we have a bunch of photographers here today. <laughs> we have a phone call? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, hi. Hi there. Hello. Say it again, we missed you. Hello. Hey there, this is Alyssa. I'm uh, uh, my daughter. Oh, hi, Alyssa. <laughs> hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for calling in. Do you have a question yeah. for your mother? <laughs> yes. Um, well, great show so far. Thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down together. Um, my question would be, what is your favorite photo, Mommy? Oh boy. That's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Um, I have to say um, a grand illusion. And what is that about? It, I love that one. I love that one too. It was taken yeah. in Iceland. Um, it's a lot of ice and glacier situation. Um, it was, we were on a glacier lagoon ride and um, it's just beautiful colors of blues and different colors of blues. And I, I didn't bring it today, but um, it really is a fabulous piece. And it is on my website, okay, so good. you good, can good. definitely look it up under the Iceland Gallery. All right, good. So, um, uh, Alyssa, are you still there? No? Yes, I am. Oh, so are you? do you enjoy photography as well? Um, I recently actually got a camera before we went to Iceland uh -huh. and I but I use it more so for like different like family gatherings and kind of just um, everyday stuff but I'm sure over time I'll get into the landscape stuff like 
like my mom just because it's inspiring. Sure is. So yeah. I think over the years I'll get more and more into it. Yeah, good, good, good. No, I, that's a, it's a nice uh, hobby as well. So, you know, keeps you focused. <laughs> I love that word. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. And exposed. <laughs> Focus and exposed. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's fun to get out there. Yeah. So it's great and um, a lot of good good times. Great. Well, thank you so much for Thanks calling for in. Thanks for calling we, in. And anybody out there, we love phone calls. So, you know, just pick up the phone <laughs> <laughs> and give us a ring. Um, and I'll Sounds look, great. Yeah, and, and we're just getting ready to go back to Andreas. He looks like he's uh, getting close. Oh, no, he's not. He's got some, awesome. some, uh, for, he's got some beautiful flowers beautiful. to put back in there. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah, really nice, beautiful. So you'll um, be able to see. Uh, we'll post the the, the flowers and uh, the backdrop and everything and the and the um, the painting with the flowers, so you guys could get a feel of how Andreas uh, puts this all together. And um, we've done a few great projects in here together, and they're just amazing. And his work is just totally worth. OMG. <laughs> the word thank you, OMG. Thank you. <laughs> it's not finished yet. I'm still working on it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make it look as close as possible without using any materials other than just flowers. And uh, so I like it. I like the way it's looking. We'll see what happens when I'm done. That's my artist. <laughs> um, so uh, what's the, you have a new you have a project coming up that you're getting ready for or um, are you just still Multitasking everywhere. Or nothing, um, something that multitasking, stands out. Multitasking, but I am. Uh, I was supposed to go to Ireland. Um, we had to cancel twice uh -huh, already. Right. And I don't know exactly what the story is with that, but looking forward to hopefully ramping that trip up. Right. At right. some point here in the near future. Yes. Yes. And, and I, um, I, you know, I hope that they, they get that COVID. Uh, um, I really feel that it's important that you get tested before or, you know, that you're, you, if you're going on a cruise or you're going on anything right now, that if we all got our IDs that we were tested, everybody would start to travel a little bit more and would feel a lot more comfortable. Mm. So I'm hoping that that happens. It's not happening in Florida right now, but yeah, I'm going to work on a few Fingers of those things. Crossed. I think that um, in the next couple of months, things will hopefully, hopefully get back to normal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's an, it's a new world for everybody. So um, I also want to uh, reach out to Miss Donna Lenhard, who had the, her beautiful commercial on. And I am wearing, if you can see, her crystals um, and the little crystal earrings that she's made for me. And um, she will be um, probably adding on her collection to, my, to her commercial so you can see some of her work. And it, it's just the most amazing stuff. She's got um, real crystals, real gold, real silver, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And, um, and I hope that I could share that with a, a lot of you also. And uh, so um, as soon as, uh, well, he's got a few more minutes, so let's just keep chatting away. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Great. Um, so tell me a little bit about um, where you were raised in Chicago? New Jersey. New Jersey. And then you went to Chicago or you went to San Francisco and then you uh, went to New I went to college and then I, after college, I lived in Manhattan for four or five years. Okay. And then moved to San Francisco. Oh, okay. And I lived there for three years, okay. some, something like that. And then I met my husband. Okay. And we got married and we moved back east. Um, and east where? We lived in New Jersey. Oh, you for, went back to New Jersey. Back to New Jersey for the first eight years, and then he pulled me to Florida. Oh, okay. And we've been here 32 years. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was sort of full circle for you too. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. So we were just waiting for our, our little man to finish over there, and um, I, I can't wait to bring it up here. So we're oh oh we want to talk about your book. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yes. Something very important. Yeah. So um, during the whole COVID shutdown, um, my friend and I uh, we worked out this book, and it's called Today I Can Just Be, and it's a spiritual book. And it's got a mantra on each page with 
uh, my photography. Oh, beautiful. And so each page is different. Each page has a different photograph and a different saying. And I, we sell them. Uh, they're on sale for $25 each. And if I have to ship it to you, it would be $35. So That's really nice. It was a, it's a product of um, a lot of love. 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 Yes. And uh, we had a great time doing it. And again, Jill's um, uh, email and her phone number is on the screen. So if you'd like to contact her, um, uh, be my guest. And um, all you young men out there, ZBTers, <laughs> we're right here. Hi. <laughs> Jill's saying hello. And uh, I, I, just, I, just love, um, I, I just love doing this stuff. So. Um, this summer I'm going to be uh, on the road and I'm hoping to go to some galleries and, and, um, and go to a few artistic uh, places to uh, do the show and we'll see how that is going to transpire. I bought a little light kit from my iPad now so I can travel with that and, and get the right light. And, and I will probably be working more on mosaics this summer because um, I don't like to mess up the house. So here comes Andreas with our arrangement, and I can't wait to see this. So be careful, Jill, with your yes. legs. Yeah. Wow. wow. Beautiful. Oh, my God. That's Eight. spectacular. That is gorgeous. Mm. I, need a, I need a picture with you before we... <laughs> This, okay, want to tell us a little bit? Here, here comes the microphone. Okay. Oh, we do. Okay, good. Oh, you know what? Let's take, no, look, go ahead. You okay. want to take a break? or you No, want... no, no, go for it. So this one was very difficult to do because it's a structure in the middle of the woods, right? Pretty mm -hmm. much. So what I did was just added some different colors for the contrast, and you could see the blue skies in the back, mm -hmm. then the mm -hmm. cymbidium orchids, the burgundy ones in the middle, they represent Gorgeous. the house. Uh, the white flowers at the bottom here, um, those white lilies, they represent like the, the waterfall. And the mini kala lilies, the red ones, is like the, like the rocks on the other side of the house leading up to like the woods, right? So pretty much that's what I did and, oh, and so thank you. Thank you, you so best. much. Thanks. Um, and and uh, Andreas, uh, he has a, a magnificent shop, and he uh, goes from Palm Beach down to Miami. He delivers. He does it all. Um, he does all different types of arrangements, small, huge. <laughs> I've seen um, I've seen him do the, the number seventy. So there's a few people I know that are turning seventy. So that's a kind of cool thing. Uh, all in flowers. <laughs> You know, I, I won't tell you who they are. <laughs> yeah, they, they could go directly through the website at oh, omgflowerboutique.com. Yes. Absolutely. And you could place the order directly, or you could call us at the store at 561-806-5818. We deliver in all of Palm Beach County. Oh, I guess. And if Hello. you need me to go to Dade County or Broward County, we'll do it also. So. Okay, great, Andreas. Okay. Thank uh, you very much. Thank we you. have another yeah. phone call. I, I will tell you who they are. Hello? Hello? Boutique.com. Hello? Hi. You're on. Hi, I have a question for Jill. Oh, great. Hi. Hi. Hi, what was your favorite place that you photographed? Favorite place I photographed was in Iceland. I think she I'd loves Iceland. Iceland. I guess we all have to go. It's um, just an amazing... Apparently. Yeah, is that Jennifer? Yes. My other daughter. Oh, wow, you're very popular. <laughs> <laughs> My daughters don't call me. <laughs> you guys are so great. I love you guys. Oh, man, it's too funny. Um, yeah, Iceland, definitely. Uh, well, I think that's the, a whole family. Uh, yeah, it, it's a place that you'll never people forget. should definitely go. And yes, there's just so many different beautiful spots. and. The horses there are incredible too. Oh, really? Icelandic horses. Yeah, I have a really great shot of um, these horses uh, with their baby. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Is that on your website? It is. Oh, good. It's called, good, good. I'd love to see yeah, that. Fall, fall play. Foul fall, play. Foul play. Foul play. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, well, we're going to wrap up our show. And um, yes, I have a question coming from the audience. Oh, we need a microphone back there.
Okay, hi, Freddie. The hardest place to get the shot. Oh, good question. Shot. The hardest place um, to get the best shot. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'd have to say um, on Cape Cod, uh, there's this spot, and it's actually another mill, and it's called Grist Mill. Um, I was going to bring it today, but that's the one that's on Hilton Head. And I had to go there pretty much every day. I drive past there to wait to see when the best right. colors were and the leaves were changing and the weather was right and the lighting was good. I'd, I'd say that that could be up there in the, the hardest. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Yeah, great. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you next week. And I look forward to uh, seeing everybody again. And I want to thank Jill and Andreas. Andreas, <laughs> he, he is my pal for life. And, um, and, and Jill, this was just a treat, really. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. Yeah, I look forward to doing some more things with you. Yeah. And uh, I want everybody to have mm -hmm. a artful day. And uh, keep, keep uh, saying hello on my Facebook page, Amy, The Art of Amy Ryshevsky and amyryshevsky.com. And this is Let's Talk Art. See you next week.